Hi everyone. The next one is the in the random access category is slotted aloha. We have already seen pure aloha. So as you can assume by the name that in slotted aloha the time is divided into slots. slots and stations are forced to send at the beginning of the slot so see these are the various slots this is time and say this is station 1, station 2, station 3 and station 4 so it can only send it the beginning say station 1, station 2 sends at the beginning of this station 3, station 4 so if a station misses the movement to send at the beginning it is forced to send at the next beginning of the slot but still possible collisions are there as you can see in this as two stations can send in the same slot but the vulnerable time is significantly reduced as compared to pure aloha as it is TFR see which was 2 into TFR in pure aloha as we forced to send at the beginning only so the time vulnerable time is reduced by half of which was in pure aloha so vulnerable time is equal to TFR which is equal to half into vulnerable of pure aloha so the throughput is given as g into s raised to e raised to minus g and the max is when 368 where g equals to 1 ok so I will define it in words in words this means as if this is the number of frames generated per transmission time and if one frame is generated per transmission time that is per TFR there will be a maximum value of throughput so if one frame is generated during one frame transmission time then 36.8 percent of these frames will reach there destination successfully so this was slotted aloha and the one before it was pure aloha so they used to send as whenever they has the data slotted aloha is a little better as it sends at the beginning of the slot only 
the board don't care about the current state of the channel so the next one we'll be looking at is csma which checks whether the station is idle or not before sending its data so yeah as the increasing order it is better than these two so okay see you next time